Hello, I'm Dustin. And I'm Daniel. And we're going to tell you about one of the greatest movies to come out on DVD in quite a while. This is Spider-Man 3. This was a phenomenal success at the box office. It made $890 million worldwide. And with good reason. Sam Raimi does his usual wonderful job with direction, and the stellar cast from the first two movies is back. We have Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man, Kirsten Dunst, Mary Jane, Rosemary Harris, Aunt May, and of course James Franco as Harry Osborn or the new Green Goblin. And we have a couple of newcomers to this movie as well. We have Thomas Hayden Church as the Sandman and Topher Grace as Venom. It's a great cast, but you need a great plot. A sensational plot. An amazing plot. A plot involving an alien that crash lands into Central Park and attaches itself to our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, revealing his truly darker side, which of course is going to strain his relationships with his best friend Harry and his soon-to-be fiance Mary Jane. Add in the quest for what could be Uncle Ben's real killer and a new rival with the Daily Bugle, you've got something. What is this? So there's two Spider-Man costumes. How will people tell them apart? I can't imagine. Wait, one's red, one's black, one's good, one's evil. Hey. Of course we need a villain. More. Two villains. Even more. Three villains. Three villains. Four? Three villains. Okay, how about Venom? Sandman. And a new Green Goblin. Oh yeah. I think Peter needs some attitude. Got it. If you want the shots, I'll take the staff job. Double the money. We need romance. No, we need conflict. No, we need both. Kissing her. Spider Man or Peter? That was our kiss. You know what every great movie needs? Action. No. Dancing. Dancing? No, even more dancing. That could work. <laughs> Peter needs help. He needs someone to keep him grounded. He, he needs, needs Aunt May. A man has to be understanding and put his wife before himself. Can you do that, Peter? The cataclysmic conclusion with our bombastic bad men is truly breathtaking. I would agree. The Titanic trio of nefarious no-gooders really makes me want to see this movie again. DVD? Buy.com. Get it. Enough said.